Hey gang, the Headley Group Real Estate Show is a video audio podcast designed to highlight and interview real estate professionals, entrepreneurs, and other fields alike. The mission of our podcast is to acknowledge people of color and show their successes and in return, help our audience learn from them and pick up tips and tricks in building additional income. Hey, ladies and gents, we are back. Another great, great, fabulous episode on the Headley Group Real Estate Show. Let me tell you something. This episode right here is more monumental than the others. Why is that? It's our big 50, right? So we reached out to some of our past guests. These are the elite of the elites. And we asked them to be a part of this great celebration. We'll take too much of their time because all of them are owners in their own right. Um, our key people that that we're, 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 we're highlighting is owners business people right people who are who are on the ground running and making things happen so without further ado we want to go ahead and and highlight mr darren johnson i met this brother at a conference about 10 years ago always full of wisdom insights and uh, always kind of just give me a good tip or two and a whole bunch a lot of comedians whose brother is funny is is h he, hilarious and then we want to shout out one of my first guests who I had on the uh, uh, the podcast when I revamped it, Mr. Gregory Falcon. This brother right here do all kinds of things. This brother is a broker owner. This brother does flip houses, trucking. I mean, cryptocurrency. This brother do it all. And he's right up the street from me up here in North Carolina area, Mr. Gregory Falcon. And then we got a uh, uh, one of our uh, one of my peers here who's actually in the. There she goes. She just popped on. Uh, Lashonda Stone, make, what makes Lashonda so unique and special and only right is she was my first buyer who I sold, sold a house to back in 2007. And I always encouraged her to get a real estate license. And as a result, she's part of the firm here. So so we had her on the show. So we want to give a shout out to Lashonda there. And she's, and look, by the way, she's a hell of, hell of an interior designer too. So I got to stress that. Um, The whole objective of the of the uh, uh, show was I seen there was a need in the podcast space to highlight us, particularly people of color, right? Not ashamed at all and apologetic to say that. Um, particularly real estate professionals and how our business is working and how we can make money outside of the traditional brokerages, such as trucking, Airbnbs, uh, uh, flipping properties, etc. So that was my reason starting the show. And now about myself, Mike Hedley, uh, Again, starting the show because I seen like there was a need for us. You know, I've been in the business not long as some of these brothers here. I've been in the game close to about 15 years and networking really took my business to a higher level. And salute to a lot of these people I had on the show. I got on the show here. So without uh, without uh, uh, further ado here, we got a quick little video. We want to highlight these people who we got on the show. So I really want you to kind of watch this with a quick second. I started marketing myself as a real estate expert. Well, we have to back it up because it was sparking to get into houses with interior design. How do buyer one say, I, I want to make sure I get the deal. I don't want you to give it to buyer two or three. Safety is really, really important because it's distressed property. It's been a switch. What you working on? Mm. Still doing your same thing you were doing mm. last year? How do you just keep all this balance and have a sane mind. It's a lot of time management and goal setting. There's no quick way, you know, I mean, even in the stock game, you know, like anybody who really knows stocks, like, of course you can put 10 grand into Dogecoin, I guess, and make. On a residential mortgage? It's residential property in Charlotte. And I was like 21%. That doesn't sound right. It's credit card payment. People that's in distress, by giving them respect and making them understand you're not here to fight with them, you're not against them, you're here to help them. Quick commercial break. If you're interested in a career in real estate or you're a seasoned vet, and you might want to change. New environment. You don't like the atmosphere you're in. The Headley Group Realty could be there to assist you with your career. What do we offer? Great culture, great environment, leads, and an awesome commission structure. Let us be there to support your business. One thing, you gotta be in the state of North Carolina. Let's get back to the show. Okay, here we go. So so let's hear from our peoples, right? We just highlighted them. Now, 
What I would like to know is your name, what industry and what segment of real estate that you specialize in, whether you're a broker or investor, you do both. And what was your reasoning coming on the Heavy Group Real Estate Show? We go ahead and start with you, Mr. Falcon. Hi, I'm um, Gregory Falcon. My company is Falcon and Associates Real Estate based in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I mean, I'm all over the place, Mike. So really listings, uh, we do the REO together. Uh, I build, I flip. Um, anything do in the real estate business is um, what I'm pretty much doing. Um, what I do most about being the Mike Headley Show, man, just so you're trying to do something positive in the community and spreading um, good positive vibes among black people that we are doing positive things out here. I appreciate that, brother. Like I said, you, you've you always uh, uh, gave me great insight and tips. I mean, every now and then, uh, anything could pop up, Greg would text me and say, listen, you might need to get up on this. You know, you know, there's a new company coming on board. So that's one thing I like that, brother. You always pass on some great Jews. Same question applies for you, Mr. Darren. Uh, what, what is your name, industry, what do you specialize in, and what was it that got you, once you be on the show? What was that? But um, yeah, my name is Darren Johnson, and uh, I've been doing real estate probably for about uh, almost 26 years. I do residential, commercial. Uh, I tapped into the REO industry probably, I don't know, 18 years ago. Um, I have that new construction, I rehab. I have a property management company. Um, I, I, I pretty much do it all. I do everything I can. That's why I love real estate so much because you can do so much. Mm. And when one segment of it goes down, the other one holds you up. Mm. You know? I like and that. so, yeah. That's, mm. I, uh, I, as far as being on your show, Mike, I came yeah. on the show because of you. <laughs> when I met this brother, I knew he was special when I met this brother. He just soaked it in like a sponge and he put it out. He just put it all out there. It's love, brother. We appreciate that. Uh, mm -hmm. We're we, we going to go, we're going to segue to, I'm going to be a little uh, biased here because she's our our own. Mrs. Shonda Stone, what is it about you? Same question applies. Um, well, my name is LaShonda Stone Minor. Um, I am a realtor. I have been um, in real estate shy of two years. Mm -hmm. um, I started off, like Mike said before, um, he was my agent um, in 2007, I think, Mike. Mm -hmm. And um, Lord, have mercy, he would not let up off of me about getting my license. So he saw the potential in me and knew that if I got into the industry that I would ace it um, because of my drive. So right now I am licensed. Um, I actually been helping Mike in real estate for quite some time, um, but I just got licensed about two years ago and I call myself the triple threat. And the reason why I call myself the triple threat because um, I am event planner and designer, interior designer and realtor. So all of those fields kind of work hand in hand so um, I enjoy helping people. Um, my specialty, specialty for right now is um, residential uh, real estate. I do want to tap into the commercial industry as well as investing and in the future have my, I want to be a contractor. So um, it's a lot of avenues that you can take in real estate and I'm just excited to be in the industry. Thanks to Mike, thanks to Mike. <laughs> okay, so uh, why'd you want being on the show? Talk about that good part. Yeah because I am a product I've played on both sides I've been mm -hmm. a buyer um so I can relate to buyers and sellers kind of sort of but I've been on both sides of the field so um I wanted to come on the show and share my story because I know that people um there are first-time home buyers out there that seeking to learn how to tap into home ownership mm -hmm. and like me um I didn't have any knowledge. I didn't have, I had a clue on what I needed to do, but I knew that I did not want to no longer pay um, somebody else's rents. Once I calculated how much I had paid in rent for eight years, I wanted to tap into home ownership. So I play both sides of the field. I love helping people. I love educating people. Um, I am that go-to person. So when people do want to know more about 
um, home ownership. They are coming to me. They want to know how they can get their credit fixed. They come to me. So I came on the show to share that um, my side of the story on that side as well as now that I'm a realtor, I can help them become homeowners. So that's the reason why I wanted to come on the show because I'm a product um, of first time ownership programs. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why I came on. Definitely well said. Question I want to ask you all, uh, I know you've accomplished so much. 2022, if you care to share, I know sometimes people are kind of quiet about that, but what is your goals? What are some of your goals that you're like, what else can I take on? We're going to start with you first, Gregory. Man, you know, Mike, um, right now I'm moving more towards going back on the circuit, doing speaking engagements mm. and training and coaching is what I'm more focused on. Um, scaling back business. I've done well, I've uh, financially secure now, and I just want to go out and help other people and, and keep their learning curve. If I can shave years off their learning curve and teach them what I know, you know, as far as, you know, the trucking, the crypto, the real estate business, I've been doing all this 20 plus years, real estate almost 30, trucking right at 20. And if I can help share some of the younger kids and ladies this period, and give my knowledge and my expertise and you know all i need is a thank you you know when i got started in 1993 the guy told me i'm gonna teach you everything i know i'm not gonna charge you a dime just don't hoard the information gotcha. and i've shared it ever since then and me and the guy we're still friends today mm. Darren, we're gonna pick it back off for you uh same thing goals 2022 well um I'm looking to scale back a little bit in the real estate as well. Um, I've got uh, I've got a good amount of wealth that I've built over the years that I'm happy for and blessed to have. Um, I'm going into another industry here in Michigan. Mm. Uh, that's going to be a surprise for everyone. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll sit back and wait and see how that turn out and uh, continue to educate people. Um, mm -hmm. um, and just, uh, you know, hire somebody to manage the areas that I want to step back in and continue to, you know, roll that area slowly, but for surely. You got to keep it going. I like that. I like so, that. I like that. Mm. That's pretty much it, you know. Okay. Okay. LaShonda Stone Miner, same question applies. I know you got some big, big goals. What do you got? <laughs> uh, my goals, um, I definitely want to tap into commercial um, I wanted to build, build development, um, like the other two gentlemen, I want to educate. I love talking to people. I love educating people, especially our youth, um, just teaching them early on about credit, about investment, um, about, like I said, home ownership, um, savings, a lot of those things, you know, my generation growing up, my parents, we didn't learn those. Um, important things in life that we needed to know about home ownership and um, building credit and investment. So I want to break that generational curse um, mm -hmm. because it is a curse um, because it's just due to lack of knowledge. So I want to educate. Um, I want to have a school. Where I'm showing people how to build, how to invest, um, do financing. So it's a lot of things that I want to do that kind of stems from real estate. But I definitely want to give back um, to our community and to our youth um, to keep the the, the 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 health and wealth growing um, for the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years. You know, we're old, you know, we need to have those kids lined up mm -hmm. with the information and the tools that they need mm -hmm. um, for the future. Mm, wow. That's, I mean, it's, you know, one is, I definitely agree with each and every one of you. I like what Gregory said, because actually I'm going to share you know, one of my goals. One of my goals is definitely to, to be on the speaking engagement uh, scene, so to speak, I think, because I get so many people asking me questions. I mean, you'd be surprised how many questions I would get actually from the show. So I said, wow, I need to probably put this on the stage. So I think that's definitely uh, uh, one of the goals to 2022 is to you know hit that speaking engagement scene and see kind of what that looks like. Um, well, look, like I said, I knew this was going to be a good moment. And I just truly, truly want to thank you all because you took time out today. Like I said, we keep it real on our show. We had up to 15, 20 people. 
that dumbed down to nine, dumbed down to six, and now we got three people. But I want to thank you all for coming on the show because you took time out your day. So uh, we got this last slide here. Hey guys, thank you for watching our show. We're going to interrupt you real quickly. We are in the business of referrals. If you know someone looking to buy or sell, residential or commercial here in the North Carolina area, refer us. We really appreciate that. Let's talk. So, like I said, we clearly had a discussion. Again, thank you all for being on the show. The good thing about it is that I wanted to create a large platform so people can network and talk to each other. Like Gregory didn't really know Darren. And LaShawn is coming on the scene. She knows she can meet with two other brothers. So this way, you know, we can share information, help each other out in times of need. Uh, without further ado, unless you guys got something, you want to wrap it up because I don't want to take too more of your time. Then we can kind of, you know, head up, you know, and end it. Mike, I want to uh, say, I just want to thank you to you for having this platform for all of us and for um, anybody that's been on the show, I was there when you started the show and I've seen the growth over the years mm -hmm. um, where the show first started and where it's at today. So I just want to thank you and commend you for having this platform for us, people of color, because we don't have this opportunity to get in front of people to network. I've never met Gregory or Darren. So mm -hmm. I'm big on networking. So I just want to say thank you um, for this platform and thank you for just believing in me to um, tap in to real estate, you know, aside from the friendship, you know, you're kind of, <laughs> you have high expectations for me and you don't let up easy and I appreciate right. that. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for all of that. I appreciate that, LaShawn. Thank you. <laughs> oh. hey, hey, Mike, yeah, it's been a pleasure, man. Uh, okay. I'll be more than welcome to come on one of your new episodes in the future. And um, I appreciate you, man. And Greg, when you get a chance, Greg, give me a call because I want to talk more about that crypto. I've been doing crypto for a couple of years. No. And um, and now I'm getting into this metaverse thing. Yeah. So metaverse is the future here. And yes, it they're, is. Selling, they're selling real estate in metaverse. So I'm, I'm going to try to set up shop a real estate <laughs> office inside of the metaverse world. And sell this is no real estate. There you go. You would have thought 30 years ago, we we're going to deal with some real, real estate. Well, there you go. Well, well I've seen there was something that sold for 2.4 million in the metaverse world. That's right. I see. You that. can't get yeah. nothing. You can't get nothing no less than thirty thousand now. At this point, <laughs> really, less than thirty. Yeah, yeah. Wow. From what I've seen. Wow. It, so, like, you know what's interesting? I heard about the crypto and the metaverse from my daughter. Like she's mm. the one who was like, "You need to get into that because that's where real estate is headed." And I've never heard of it, so I'm mm. learning from her. So, Gregory, I'm, I'll be calling you as well because I really don't understand it. But the millennials are up and own yes. everything out, anything with money, and you know where they can feel like they can make some money and come wealthy, they're on it. So I've learned this about this from my daughter. Mm. So I'm yeah. hey, hey, Lashonda, if you get on on side of Clubhouse, you, are you familiar with Clubhouse? Yes. Jump yes. on Clubhouse and um, search some meta Metaverse uh, rooms and just listen in and you kind of educate yourself a little bit. Mm. Okay, gotcha. Mm. Yeah, well, you know, they even got uh, Bitcoin ATM machines now. You seen them? Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> I got one around the corner. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, and look, look, this, this, is, this is something you may not know. Bitcoin will pay you if you got enough foot traffic between $1,500 to $2,000 a month just to hold a machine in your office. Oh wow! Wow! I, know, I did not know that. That's, I yeah, you gotta that. have the foot traffic, like some type of business or something. They got a lot of foot traffic, and they'll allow I, you to. I know a guy that bought a house in Miami for six hundred thousand worth of Bitcoin. Oh yeah. really? Wow. Well, wow. we know one of the brothers out of Charlotte. He bought Bitcoin in two thousand thirteen for like it was like one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. And he's a he's a big and he was twenty two years old. He bought a whole lot of it. Told everybody back then to buy, buy, buy. He go around just doing speaking engagements. He's teaching the judges in divorce court <laughs> how to settle up Bitcoin because they don't know nothing about it. <laughs> hey, Greg, wow. Greg, Mike, yeah. Mike can probably attest to this, and you might also. But going to for the past 12, 15 years, going to the real estate conferences, um, they've always had a crowdfunding session. Mm. And I would go in those crowdfunding sessions about 12, 13 years ago, and they were talking about crowdfunding with Bitcoin. 
Yeah. I would get up and leave. No right. one ever educated me and told me, hey, this is what's going on. This is new. So I am shocked because Bitcoin back then was $15 a coin. I know. Yeah. I and know. I didn't have a clue. But I'm on it now and I'm riding that train. <laughs> well, I got some things for you, Darren. Uh, Mike, <laughs> share our information with each other. Correct. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a couple of things I'm doing there. I got some passive crypto, crypto that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Share that with you, okay. Mike, from the passive crypto is, is doing very well. You ain't got to do anything. Just sit uh -huh. back and watch it. Well, well, what I'll definitely share amongst everyone here on the line, swap right. the emails and phone numbers. So this way, you know, we, we can pick up, you know, some more okay. insight and juice on that. Um, ladies and gents, like I said, thank you. And I, I really do appreciate the, the compliment. And again, I, I wish you all much success. And again, I'll talk to each and every one individually. And I'll just ask you, which I know you'll do anyway, when we drop the episode, if you could promote it, please, you'd be surprised. It's another conversation. <laughs> so, so thank you all. I want to thank everybody who tuned in to watch. And we'll see you all next time on the Real Estate Show. All right, Mike. Appreciate it, man. Hey, gang. I hope you really enjoyed that show. Our guests provide us some great tips and insight. And please support them on all social media platforms. And while I'm saying that, support us on all social media platforms. And don't forget, watch the entire video on YouTube. We'll see you next time.